I get on the bus and I don't wear a mask and I'm not, okay, I'm not joking around here. Sometimes people don't understand my sarcasm, but I don't wear the mask on the bus. And uh, I, didn't have, I didn't have any problems. Like, I hope, I hope that continues. I'm not saying I haven't had issues in the past, but not on the TTC, not on the transit. These immigrants are also chill. They don't give me any looks. They're all wearing masks. All the black people are wearing masks. All the Latino people are wearing masks. Young and old and even children. There were a few people not wearing the mask. Not that many. There was one black man who was like smoking a joint or something like as the bus pulled up to the, to the bus stop. And then it's like, like as the bus like just stopped and the doors opened, he just like, like threw the thing on the ground, like got on the bus. And then he was just, he just like gestured with his hand to like the bus driver who was also black. But I mean, you know, that's not unusual. Um, I'm not saying it would be different if the bus driver wasn't black, but the bus driver didn't say anything. The guy just, pat, you know, made some gesture. I don't know if they he knew, had, who knows? Probably not. But the guy just like walked on by without paying, in other words. And that's not, you know, that stuff happens all the time. But I just thought that was kind of funny, like. Like, and, and he walked on and he wasn't wearing a mask. Sorry, I should have said that. He wasn't wearing a mask. He was smoking something right before getting on the bus. Didn't even put it out. Just the, like, like, just get it. That guy had the spirit. Maybe, maybe he was, uh, who knows? Maybe he wasn't a good role model because I can't tell. I can't tell. But I like the spirit in that moment. I like, I mean, maybe it's good to pay your bus fare. Maybe it's a good idea. But, you know, maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't have the money or something, but I like, I like his positive spirit. Positive, positivity, right? Can we get some more of that? We need some more of that in the city, all, all races. And by positivity, I mean, not being in this constant cult of fear. I saw a, not an advertisement, but a public service um, announcement. I don't know if you can see that. It says life on pause sucks. There's a woman of color uh, wearing wearing a black mask and her t-shirt says life on pause sucks and then it says underneath agreed keep fighting and we'll get through this and then it says underneath that wear a mask watch your distance wash your hands so uh that's just like them saying that uh like the rulers are saying uh, that they know that everything sucks for us, that they've made it this way, obviously. And they're kind of almost like poking us and like, yeah, well, it's true. It does kind of suck. I know lockdowns, you know, but, uh, you know, we agree with you. We agree. And uh, yeah, it sucks. Um, but you got to keep fighting, uh, keep obeying, right? Cause are you, who's fighting? No one's fighting. None, the masses are not fighting. They're going along. You don't. Call, that's not. That's not fighting. I mean, yes, there are Karens that like to oh say oh you got to do this. Maybe in a way that's fighting. But the vast majority of people are are not fighting. They're just like keeping their head down, hoping that it'll all pass by. And now they've opened up everything. They haven't really, but they've they've uh, ended the stay at home order, whatever that means, because they're still telling people like uh, these other. Uh, public service announcements from the city of Toronto are, are saying like stay at home as much as possible it's the same sort of ad the same sort of uh, message so it's like a conflicted messaging and nothing's changing so all you people who think that all oh, this is something better and maybe we're through this we're not through this nothing's changed don't take any of this language seriously and it's gonna get worse and then so I was hanging out with my with uh, my friend who's living in his car he turns on the radio and then I'm hearing the radio for the first time in a long time because I don't listen to the radio and it starts just this like propaganda coming forth about how we're now in the gray zone, whatever that means, like gray zone and reopening. And I'm just these this terminology is hitting me and it's just this instant massage of of propaganda that just makes my skin crawl. It just really was this visceral reaction like I don't like I don't like the feeling of this radio. 
it just reminded me of how we're all being massaged and like we're seeing all the immigrants are all massaged and encouraged to to go along and to obey in the the public service announcement in the bus stops all around and of course targeting the immigrant people massaging us constantly 24 7 if it's the radio for it's if it's the television it just depends if you're in that world are you plugged into that because you, you don't have to be plugged into that i'm not just incidentally i might I can't even stand the mass media. I'm even out of the loop a lot of the time just because it's so toxic. But that's better to be sometimes out of the loop than to be just in this toxic environment. So that's kind of how I handle it. But um, but yeah, you don't really have to be in the loop too much because don't because you don't need to take any of this stuff seriously. The lifting of a stay at home order, please don't take any of this seriously. I mean, give me a break. You can't possibly take any of this seriously. Nothing has changed and it probably will just get worse.